morning, it is I, Lala, and are you ready to get wild and crazy with my new morning skincare and body care routine? It has been epic for me, it has changed my life, and I hope it'll change your life to try to combine products and get the same wonderful, beautiful results on your mature skin. So, without further ado, whack do, let's get started. First thing in the morning, before I get out of bed, if it's an LED mask day, I roll over, grab my mask, put it on my face and neck, and lay there for 10 minutes. When that's done, I rip it off, throw it back in the drawer, and then I run into the bathroom, and I will take my Mercella water, which for this is Bioderma Sensible H2O. This is Costco's version of Mercella water, and I take that with my really cool a uh, little uh, towel here. It's biodegradable towel. Let me read to you what it says. It's too much. Oh, my glasses are crooked. Okay, it's Clean Skin Club Clean Towels, extra large, 100% USDA bio based, dermatology approved face towel, disposable, blah, blah, blah. 50 count. And they last me for quite a while. And what I like about it is that they're a little bit rough on one side and real soft on the other, depending on if you want to do a little exfoliation. But I. I've washed my face so good the night before that I, all I need to do is this Marcella water on it and I use the rough side and gently just go over my face, my neck, decolletage, and my gummy eyes from the night before. And you can use these, I use this about three or four days and then I throw it away and get a new one. It's wonderful. Okay, you've probably seen that I have these, I don't know if you can see or not, I have my three ship um, I masks on that are made out of red algae and uh, avocado. I know nothing about this red algae or avocado. I know avocado is good. I wouldn't put an avocado under my eye, but this is next to the best thing. So this is actually the last step. So let's let's rewind. Uh, we've done the LED mask. We've wiped our face off with the Marcella water, and now while my skin is still damp, I take my Timeless Vitamin C 20%. I'm still using this. I put it in my palm. I, you know, one big squirt and do my hands like this, and then I will put it all over. And I, as I said, I try to pat. I will do some rubbing, but mostly patting it in. It's just it, skin at our age is stubborn, so it needs to be pressed in. So I use that on my decolletage and on the back of my hands. Now, all of a sudden, my neck has decided to become very sensitive. So instead of using the 20% of my face, I've got this CeraVe. Um, vitamin C, like a cream. So it's 10%. So I'll put that on my hand and I'll do it on my neck. And so far my neck has responded well. I used to use hyaluronic acid serum and I used to use squalene serum. Now I've replaced this with this wonderful IT Cosmetics. So let me tell you about this IT Confidence in a Cream Hydrating Moisturizer it has 4% niacinamide, hyaluronic acid, and ceramides. So it's a beautiful, lightweight cream. I have the tester because I wanted to try it before I buy it because this is a high end. The regular size bottle, I think it's one ounce. Sound, doesn't sound like much, but it was like $64 at Ulta. And you probably can get it cheaper somewhere else if you go out on um, eBay. That's, that's an idea. Just make sure it says new and it's not been opened. So you've got your, your cream on. You don't need a whole bunch. It's just lightweight. It go, soaks right in and so it, you're ready for your um, sunscreen. Say that's Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday for the vitamin C. And then on Tuesday and Thursdays, because I use Trentinone at night, that you need some kind of a chemical exfoliate. So I have this ordinary lactic acid 10% plus hyaluronic acid. So now I probably, this comes in 5%, that's probably what I started with. I figured because I've been on Trentinone for two years that I could just go straight to the 10% because I'm using 20% on my face. But you don't want to use these two acids together. So especially while you're starting out. So anyway, I have the 10% and I'll put on just a dollop I don't put on a bunch of squirts, just a dollop, and I put that on my face at Tuesday and Thursday morning in place of the vitamin C. I'll put it on my decolletage, and for my neck, I will mix this with a little bit of my IT cream so that it's diluted to go on my neck, and so far it's done, it's done well. This is very good for 
uh, exfoliating your skin, get, turn over your dead skin cells. Well, that's what your tretinoin is doing, and this has helped sloughing them off and, you know, all that good stuff. So that is a my exfoliating for, for Tuesday and Thursday. I'll do the LED mask and I do the uh, <coughs> rock. Okay, and then I'll do my new face, mini. I love this thing. It really works. So I'll do that every other day and you have to use the um, gel so it's on your face and wiping it off you want to be you know wipe it off gently but I do a double cleanse on those days so that's a little more involved I do have my coffee first and then come new face and go uh, double cleanse my face and then I go on to my skincare routine so as the final step I will remove my little bags and you can put them in hot water and they'll dissolve and then I pat in the rest of it. Oh, it feels wonderful. And then I go on to my sunscreen. So now I'm using this Ulta MD Broad Spectrum SPF 41. And this one is water resistant. That's why I'm using that. It's a little heavier and there's not any oil in it, which is great for those with uh, oily skin. But I'm on the dry side. So what I do, you need a fourth of a teaspoon. And then I'll take my... Um, Elta MD UV Clear Tinted Moisturizer with SPF 46 in it. This has been one of my favorites. And this is, this is more user friendly, so I'll add that on the top. And then if I'm not sure if I've got enough, I'll go like that. See? Ooh, ghastly. All right, then I mix it in together, and then I apply it on my face. This I hadn't done yet. So I get it on my ears my neck, I go around the back of the neck, even though I've used my regular sunscreen um, on my body, which I'll tell you what I do for that. Get your ears, get my nose, the top of my eyes, my eyebrows. Okay, after I've done my skincare, then I'm going to go on to my body care. Oh, I forgot to mention that I use this um, <laughs> You know, I should just get contacts, but I'm afraid of them because a lot of them slip around and go behind your eye. And then I, I'm wondering if it's back on your eye, do you see the inside of your brain? I don't want to try it. Anyway, so I use this Pawpaw, Dr. Pawpaw. It's one end has the exfoliating, just a little bit of sugar scrub. And then I just massage into my lips. And on the other side is the balm that I use at night. That will be in the next video. So I There you go. Then I take this scrubber, and someone gave me this Echo Tools. Uh, it's just a body scrub. Thank you. I'm going to use it dry. So I just rub it all over. It doesn't feel really good at first, but after I've done it for a couple of times, I love that it just kind of energizes my skin, which probably seeps into my brain and gives me all that energized feeling. But anyway, so I'll do that all over it, prep before I do my sunscreen, which I'm really loving this Aveeno uh, 60 SPF Protect and Hydrate. Now this is a chemical sunscreen because it just goes on fantastic on your body compared to the white cast that I used to use, the mineral. So I'll get, I'll do two dollops, like a dollop on each leg, up the legs, dollop on each arm, and I do the back of my neck and shoulders, the whole thing. And when you work so hard to keep your body uh, smooth and supple and reverse the signs of sun damage and aging, which the sun damage has done, then you want to just continue to take care of it. And there's so many wonderful sunscreens for face and body. Let my sunscreen sit for 20 minutes before I apply any other makeup if I'm gonna. Now in the summertime, I pretty much just wear these two things on my face. So I'll do my eyes and my lips and I'll usually leave the rest alone. If I want a little bit more, I'll add some rouge and rouge. I'll add some blush and bronzer if I need it. But in the summertime, like I said, you melt. You know, around here it's been about 97. So uh, I just do as minimal as possible. And then while the sunscreen is also setting, I will do my hair. Like a so. So, 
I really hope you learned something from this. That morning care skin routine can be simple yet really effective. A gentle face wash, applying your vitamin C, and then on the every other day your lactic acid. That is the, the milder acid of glycolic is, I cannot do glycolic acid at all, so I use lactic acid. Salicylic, salicylic, salicylic acid, that's for people with acne. That's, that's a very important acid. And then I use just my wonderful IT confidence cream with niacinamide, 4%, hyaluronic acid and ceramides. It's a light one and it goes, my, my um, sunscreen goes over it beautifully. Now stay tuned. My next video is going to be about the nighttime skincare, and that one is wonderful too. So please like and subscribe. If you learned something from here, leave a comment so I know what I can bring you. So far, it's been dead in the water out there. So all I can do is just guess. So remember, get out in the sun, but put on your wetsuit and mining helmet. <laughs> okay, not so drastic. Anyway, have a wonderful day. Love you. Lala out.